The emergence of a new, apparently more contagious COVID-19 virus variant first found in Southern Africa has rattled markets, triggered travel bans and put vaccine makers on alert. The variant has already been detected not only in Africa but in Europe, North America, and Asia. World Health Organization has classified this new variant of COVID virus, called Omicron, as a variant of concern. Early indications are that this variant is possibly even more transmissible than the highly infectious Delta variant, and that current vaccines may be less effective against it. The Omicron strain is the fifth variant of concern to be so designated by the WHO. In the case of the Delta variant, it took about seven months from the time it was discovered until it was designated a variant of concern. The Omicron variant, by contrast, was named a variant of concern in less than a month. Where and when did this new variant emerge? The Omicron strain was first spotted in South Africa in samples taken earlier this month. Dozens of cases have since been detected there in its most populous province, which includes Johannesburg and Pretoria. The number of cases of this variant appears to be increasing in almost all provinces in South Africa, and now these are getting detected all over the world. Why is Omicron troubling? Experts say Omicron's unusual constellation of mutations may make it more transmissible and help it evade vaccines, though further research is needed for a clearer picture. Omicron coronavirus variant has more than double the mutations of Delta. These include 32 known mutations in the spike protein, the part that mRNA vaccines, for example, teach the immune system to recognize to boost the body's defenses against the virus. This image displays the structure of the Omicron spike protein beside that of the Delta variant, revealing a far higher rate of mutation. The spike protein is the part of the virus crucial for it to enter human cells, and the part that a vaccine targets. However, this does not automatically mean that this virus is more dangerous than Delta. Omicron appears to be behind a surge in cases in South Africa, where the cases are continuously increasing. The WHO noted an increased risk of reinfection compared with other variants of concern and said Omicron has been detected at faster rates than earlier surges. Is Omicron more transmissible than Delta? It is not yet clear whether Omicron is more transmissible compared to other variants, including Delta. The number of people testing positive has risen in areas of South Africa affected by this variant, but epidemiologic studies are underway to understand if it is because of Omicron or other factors. How much is the severity of disease caused by Omicron? It is not yet clear whether infection with Omicron causes more severe disease compared to infections with other variants, including Delta. Preliminary data suggests that there are increasing rates of hospitalization in South Africa, but this may be due to increasing overall numbers of people becoming infected, rather than a result of specific infection with Omicron. There is currently no information to suggest that symptoms associated with Omicron are different from those from other variants. Initial reported infections were among university students, younger individuals who tend to have more mild disease, but understanding the level of severity of the Omicron variant will take days to several weeks. All variants of COVID-19, including the Delta variant that is dominant worldwide, can cause severe disease or death, in particular for the most vulnerable people, and thus prevention is always key. How are pharmaceutical companies responding? While vaccines have largely held up against other variants of concern so far, manufacturers have been preparing to tweak shots if necessary. AstraZeneca is looking into the Omicron variant to understand more about it and the impact on the vaccine, including conducting research in Botswana and Eswatini. The company is also evaluating its antibody treatment against the new strain. BioNTech, which developed an mRNA vaccine with Pfizer, said it will know in two weeks whether the shot is effective against the variant. It said that if necessary, it can adapt its vaccine in six weeks and start shipping initial batches within 100 days. How much is effectiveness of prior COVID infection in preventing reinfection? Preliminary evidence suggests there may be an increased risk of reinfection with Omicron, that is, people who have previously had COVID-19 could become reinfected more easily with Omicron, as compared to other variants of concern, but information is limited. More information on this will become available in the coming days and weeks. How is the effectiveness of vaccines? WHO is working with technical partners to understand the potential impact of this variant on our existing countermeasures, including vaccines. Vaccines remain critical to reducing severe disease and death, including against the dominant circulating variant, Delta. Current vaccines remain effective against severe disease and death. How is the effectiveness of current tests? The widely used PCR tests continue to detect infection, including infection with Omicron, as we have seen with other variants as well. Studies are ongoing to determine whether there is any impact on other types of tests, including rapid antigen detection tests. 
How effective are current treatments? Corticosteroids and IL-6 receptor blockers will still be effective for managing patients with severe COVID-19. Other treatments will be assessed to see if they are still as effective given the changes to parts of the virus in the Omicron variant. How can one avoid getting infected? The most effective steps individuals can take to reduce the spread of the COVID-19 virus is to keep a physical distance of at least one meter from others, wear a well-fitting mask, open windows to improve ventilation, avoid poorly ventilated or crowded spaces, keep hands clean, cough or sneeze into a bent elbow or tissue, and get vaccinated when it's their turn. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, or found a lot of value in it, do give us a thumbs up. This will help in supporting the channel. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more content like this. With that said, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.